This kit has the materials needed to repair cracks and scrapes, gel coat blisters, loose hardware, delaminated decks and panels, damaged keels, and holes up to one inch in diameter in solid laminates up to one quarter inch thick and smaller holes in thicker laminates. The West Systems Fiberglass Repair Kit contains the following. One 12cc syringe. One reusable mixing stick applicator. Two coating brushes. Four grams of 406 adhesive filler. nine grams of 410 farin filler, three mixing cups, eight pre-measured packets of 105 epoxy resin plus 205 hardener, three pairs of disposable neoprene gloves, and a 15 by 15 inch 10 ounce fiberglass reinforcing fabric. Click the link located in the description below if you would like more information or to purchase this fiberglass repair kit. Avoid skin contact when working with epoxy resin. Always wear liquid-proof gloves and protective clothing. Push the liquid contents of the West System 105 resin and 205 hardener packets with your fingers to force it down past the dotted lines located on the back side of the packet. Cut off the top of the packet with a pair of scissors. Each packet contains the correct proportion of resin and hardener required to reach full cure. Fold the packet and squeeze the contents into the plastic mixing cup. Be sure to squeeze out all the contents of each resin and hardener packet you open. Use the mixing stick and stir for at least one minute. Scrape the sides and the bottom of the mixing cup while stirring. Mixing resin and hardener together starts a chemical reaction that converts the combined liquid into a solid. After mixing, you have between 10 and 15 minutes at 72 degrees to apply before it begins to gel. Epoxy occurs faster in warmer temperatures and thicker applications. Wipe up any mixture dropped on the surfaces while it is still wet with a disposable towel. Thicken the epoxy mixture with 405 adhesive filler to a catch-up consistency. The 405 adhesive filler is very light and will easily be dispersed if any wind is blowing near the work area. Turn off any fans while mixing 405 adhesive filler. Add a little at a time and mix thoroughly. Continue adding until you achieve the appropriate consistency.
Use the mixing stick to carefully push the mixture into the syringe. If your hole goes all the way through the laminate, place a piece of tape on the back side of the hole to keep the mixture from running out. If there is no access to the back of the hole, push a small piece of paper towel into the bottom of the hole. If you have holes larger than one quarter inch diameter, fill the hole in layers with no layer thicker than three eighths of an inch. To avoid excessive heat, allow each layer to gel before filling the next layer. If your hole is one inch or more, you will need to reinforce the hole with layers of fiberglass fabric, saturating each layer with epoxy resin. Since the holes in my boat are only one quarter inch in diameter, I can safely fill these holes with thickened epoxy resin. Inject the thickened mixture into the hole. Mix additional epoxy as necessary to fill the hole. Clean the excess epoxy away with the mixing stick. Place a piece of clear packaging tape over the hole. Allow the epoxy to cure for 24 hours. When the epoxy has cured, wet sand with a 180 grit sandpaper to prepare the surface for the gel coat application. I sand the epoxy down about 1 seconds of an inch from the surface. This helps the gel coat to bind around the sides of the hole. Feel with your finger to make sure you have the right depth around the hole. The holes are ready for the gel coat application. Be sure to watch part 4. I will show you how to apply the gel coat. Thanks for watching.